guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Thanks for joining me. Today I will be showing you how to make these cute glitter night lights. They are so simple and so much fun to create and the possibilities are endless on what you can create with them. Stay tuned and have fun creating your own Christmas night lights. Now let's get started. These glitter night lights are so much fun to create. I created some for Halloween and now I'm going to make some for Christmas. So you're just going to take Dollar Tree uh, night lights or any night lights that you might have laying around and you're going to need some Mod Podge here and choice of glitter, whatever choice of colors you want. I have like four different colors here. And then also, I don't know if people have seen these before. Um, these are like little uh, iPhone things <laughs> um supposed to make your lens or lenses and they're supposed to make your pictures look bigger they don't but they come in handy so they just really easily unscrew from this and then you use this as like the little santa cam so you can put it like on here or down here however you want but i just wanted to show you those so if you want that you're going to need some sponge brushes to put your mod podge on and then also a piece of paper or a paper towel or something to catch your glitter with you don't want to waste your glitter so to get started you're just going to want to put some mod podge onto so to get started you're just going to want to put some mod podge on your night light but you're going to want to put it on the back of your night light because you're going to want to put your vinyl on the front so this part is really simple so you're just going to take your and not open this all the way take your mod podge just put a little bit on and then use your foam brush and this acts like glue so wherever you put this is where your glitter is going to stick so you want to be very careful of where you get it you don't want to get any in the front you don't want to get any on the bottom part. You can get the sides if you want. I just tend to leave them alone. But just like that. And then you can just take off if you make any mistakes. Which I'm just going to rub this bottom part off because I don't want any glitter on there. And then take your glitter, put it over your paper. And I think I'm just going to start out with white first. So I just open it up and then sprinkle it on. This is really simple. You could do this with your kids. You can do it with the elderly. You know, whatever. It's a lot of fun to do. Just tap it off and that's basically it. So you can do as many coats as you want. So I'm, I normally do two to three coats so you don't see behind it. So I'm going to let this one dry and I'm going to keep working with the other ones. But once it dries, you're going to want to go back and do another layer of Mod Podge and then sprinkle on your glitter again and then... Again, how many other times you want to do it, I do it two to three. So after the third coat, let's say, you're just going to want to go back with Mod Podge and let that dry and no more glitter. But that is basically it. So here's where the paper comes in handy. Now you can just pour it right back into your container and you're not wasting anything. But it's so simple and so easy to do, so I'll show you a few more. Again, you want to do it on the back, so I'm just taking the Mod Podge, putting some on my brush, and just brushing on the Mod Podge. Again, it's just like glue, so wherever you want it, it's gonna go. So be careful with your sides and the bottom and stuff. Because it's easier to not put it on now than go back later and try to fix it. So again, I don't like it on the edge here, so I'm just gonna clean it off with my finger and keep it nice and clean. So then I'll do green for the next one. So again, just sprinkle it over your paper. And you're not going to waste anything because you're catching it all. And then give it a tap. Get the excess off. So here's the back. So you might see, I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, you will see through this. So you will see the lines from the Mod Podge. That's why I say two to three layers. So I'm not sure if it shows through, but you can see it. But after you do a few layers, it looks a lot better. So again, just let it sit and you can go on to the next color. I'll just put this back in my container. This is a lot of fun. My kids had a lot of fun helping me do this for Halloween. So I'm doing this Christ a few Christmas ones. So again, just take it, put it on the back. And you can do as many of these as you want all at once. These were a really good seller for me for Halloween time. So I'm hoping that they will be for Christmas time as well. 
you can put anything you want on here. You can do like words or you can do like Santa. I'm going to do some of these Santa cams and then I'm going to do some of them. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do some of these that say Santa cam on it, and then I'm going to do a few They have like uh, Christmas trees on it and a little different, couple different designs, so it's whatever you want. So next I'm just going to be taking my gold and just putting that on top as well. And then you can use whatever colors you have. And I bought this from um, Walmart. I think it was like $2.50 $2 or something for it, but it wasn't too bad, and they go a really long way. So I'm just tapping off the extra and then... There it is. And then you don't have to worry about when you put your vinyl on here that you're going to scratch anything off. So that's why I like doing it. You could do it um, the other way around. You could put your glitter on the top and then put your vinyl on the back if you want. But you just have to make sure you mirror it. I always just put it on the this uh, glitter on the back. It just makes it easier. So again, I'm just putting my glitter back in my container. And again, the possibilities are endless. This is so much fun. So I'm going to finish these up with the several different colors I have. And I will let the ones that I already did dry. And then I'll show you how to put um, the next coat on. It's really easy. It's just uh, repetitive. But it is a lot of fun. So I'm going to finish these up. I'll let them all dry. And then I'll come back in a couple minutes. Alright, so I'm finished with my first coat on each one of these. And I let them dry for a little bit. Um, so the next part to do is to take your Mod Podge again and go on even lighter this time because you don't want to pull up your glitter that you have on here. But just lightly go over your glitter. And this is the important part where you want to have it dry before you go over with another layer. But just lightly go over it. And this is the time if you miss any spots that you can go over that spot this time. So you, you, there's really no way to make mistakes on these, but I'm just going over really lightly. And then, like I said, depending on how many coats you want to put on here, I do two to three, um, depending on how dark it is in the front. The last part you want to do is just this, is just go over it one more time with your Mod Podge. So take the same color you have. I have this um, just white color on this one, so I'm going to take my white. Sorry, I'm out of frame. Get my stuff over. There we go. And then just the same thing. Just pour your glitter over it. Like I said, it's just more repetitive repetition. But there you go. It's the same thing. But I don't know. That's kind of nice with two coats. But I'm going to let it dry and I'll see what it looks like. But that's basically what you do is just, just go over a couple of times. Just do the same thing. Put your glitter back so you're not wasting anything. And then just go with the next one. Whoops, and I did, oh dang it, I did make a mistake right when I was pushing that paper. I made a mistake here, so I will show you, let me make sure it's dry, that you can easily just go over that spot. So there's really no way to make a mistake with these. So I'm just going to take my same brush that I just was using and just lightly go over this with the Mod Podge. And you are going to pull some glitter up, but don't worry about it. There might be some on your brush like it is here, but I'm okay with that. I'm just going to keep putting this over and I'm just filling in the spot where I just pulled it up on accident and I'm just filling in all the spots making sure I have the Mod Podge on it everywhere and what I didn't say before too is you want to have nice thin lines you don't want a bunch on one spot you want to have nice thin even lines so this one is the red one so I'm just going to go over with the red just same thing just give it a little tap and it filled in the gap pretty well it looks white here because the Mod Podge is still wet so when I go over it again with another coat you won't even see that so I'm just gonna let this one dry as well and then just put this away but again just the same thing going over it as many times as you want but you want to make sure that they're dry in between you do not want to make the mistake of not letting them dry because you will just pull your glitter right up so I'm just going to finish these and I will show you the next step again I'm sorry guys it's just kind of step by step repetition but I'm going to put I'll tell you what I'm going to put one more coat on this on each one of them and then if they need another one I'll put another coat on but if they're all done the way I like them I'll show you and then I'll show you the last step to it so basically there's three steps to this so um stay with me I'm, I promise this is going to be a lot of fun when you're done with this and then after I'm done with this I will show you how to put the vinyl on 
So I'm letting the night lights dry right now, and I thought I would come and do this next part first rather than do it first and then do the night lights, but it's up to you and how you guys want to do this. So I just created these my own. I purchased this one um, quite a while ago. I don't remember where I bought it from. It was maybe designbundles.net, and then I also bought these little Santa guys. I thought they were kind of cute. And again, I think it was either Etsy or Design Bundles. I'm not sure which one, but I made all the other ones. They're really easy to make. Uh, this lettering is called, let's see if I can see it here, right here, Candy Cane, obviously. But that's what I used. And then I purchased um, an elf hat from Etsy as well. So I kind of just threw everything together myself how I liked it. And I made the border around here like this. I just Googled um, like thin border. Uh, SVG and this is what it came up with so I just put it all together so this is gonna be a really quick tutorial and just to explain this little dot here I'm gonna use these I have not only do I have the night lights but I have a little lens um, that people have been using for the ornaments um, so I thought it'd be kind of cute on here that's why this has a little bit of a space here is I'm gonna put one of those little camera lenses in here and the reason for my little Santa's down here is I'm going to put it down here where the uh, night light actually plugs in the little white part just to make it a little bit cuter I thought so the only thing really left to do on these is just to resize them but I just wanted to show you my files really quick they're very simple to make um, you can go ahead and purchase them too if you want from Etsy or design bundles but I like creating things myself. So the last thing I need to do is just resize it. So you guys probably already know how to do all this. You can just fast forward to this if, you, if you'd like, but if you're new at it, please feel free to stay. So I'm just gonna select the part that I wanna change the size to, and then you just wanna go to the unlock box up here. And I know that the night light is two and a half by two and a half, or a little bit larger than two and a half by two and a half. So I'm gonna do maybe 2.3 by 2.3. there and when this cuts out it's gonna cut out the Santa cam part um, all together but then when it cuts out the hat it's gonna cut out the red part and then the white part separate here just so you guys know if you're gonna make something like this and then this little guy just goes with it, it doesn't really matter as long as I have enough of them um, to go with each one so I need to make a few more so I'm gonna select it and just go up to the duplicate button I like to put them around them so I know I have enough so I'm just gonna go to the duplicate button again and you don't have to do these little things if you don't want to but I think it's just kind of cute that it just shows the kids that hey it's it's on I'm watching you <laughs> um, unfortunately my kids are too old for it I have uh, 13 year old triplets and then a 15 year old yes that's right guys I said triplets so um, help me support my channel <laughs> um, spread the word get this out for me uh, so let's finish this up. So the, I'm just going to switch again to make these smaller. Again, just go to the unlock box and then change it to whatever size you want. But I'm just doing 2.3 by 2.3. And if it doesn't look right, you can always just make it a little bit bigger. Like I said, I think it's about 2.5. I'm going to measure it again really quick. Yeah, it's just about 2.5. So I just wanted a little bit under 2.5 on each side that it's not going to go over. And I think... Hmm. I'm going to use one of these little guys for the bottom and I figured the bottom is about a one by one So I'm just going to change this I'm going to unlock it up here and then just change it to a one by one and see what it looks like <clears throat> So there so I'll just fast forward this part You don't have to watch this anymore, but I just wanted to show you that's how I do that So I'll just do one more and like I said before, the little elf hat's gonna cut out separately, so when you go to weed it out, it's gonna be separate. But I think I put the Santa cam and the border together so that I don't have to try to uh, center it myself. So when you do that, please make sure that you center it in here first. Um, so if you just did the elf cam and you did the border and you didn't center it, you're gonna have a heck of a time trying to recenter it on your piece. So if you're gonna do do that and attach them, please make sure make sure you center them first so just a little tip so I'm just gonna go in here and then just change it again to the 2.3 
That's what I said, guys, right? I said 2.3. <laughs> um, so anyways, I'm just going to finish this up. I'm going to be using my green mat, which is just the standard grip. I'm going to be using just the Oracle 651. I want it permanent. I want it to stick. Um, and then I'm going to be weeding it, and I will show you how to put it on the front of your nightlight. But I think this is a really fun and easy project. You could do it with your kids if you want. Um, obviously not this part. You don't want, you want Santa to say that he brought it for them. But I mean, if you want to make nightlights, you can do it with them. I think they'd have a lot of fun with that. Um, I made quite a few for Halloween and they were a big seller. So if you guys sell these, you might want to try selling them on like Facebook or to your friends and family. Um, just an idea. So I'm just going to finish this up. But when I'm done, I'm just going to go to make it and then just do what I said. And they'll cut out separately. There'll be many pieces here with the black and the red and the white. Um, so you're going to have uh, quite a few pieces, but I tell you, it's really easy to put together. So stay tuned and I'll show you the next part after the nightlights are dry. So you're just going to take Dollar Tree uh, nightlights or any nightlights that you might have laying around and you're going to need some Mod Podge here and choice of glitter, whatever choice of colors you want. I have like four different colors here. And then also, I don't know if people have seen these before. Um, these are like little uh, iPhone things <laughs> um supposed to make your lens or lenses and they're supposed to make your pictures look bigger they don't but they come in handy so they just really easily unscrew from this and then you use this as like the little santa cam so you can put it like on here or down here however you want but i just wanted to show you those so if you want that you're going to need some sponge brushes to put your mod podge on and then also a piece of paper or a paper towel or something to catch your glitter with you don't want to waste your glitter so to get started you're just going to want to put some mod podge on your nightlight but you're going to want to put it on the back of your nightlight because you're going to want to put your vinyl on the front so this part is really simple so you're just going to take your and not open this all the way take your mod podge just put a little bit on and then use your foam brush and this acts like glue so wherever you put this is where your glitter is going to stick so you want to be very careful of where you get it you don't want to get any in the front you don't want to get any on the bottom part. You can get the sides if you want. I just tend to leave them alone. But just like that. And then you can just take off if you make any mistakes. Which I'm just going to rub this bottom part off because I don't want any glitter on there. And then take your glitter, put it over your paper. And I think I'm just going to start out with white first. So I just open it up and then sprinkle it on. This is really simple. You could do this with your kids. You can do it with the elderly, you know, whatever. It's a lot of fun to do. So just tap it off and that's basically it. So you can do as many coats as you want. So I'm, I normally do two to three coats so you don't see behind it. So I'm going to let this one dry and I'm going to keep working with the other ones. But once it dries, you're going to want to go back and do another layer of Mod Podge and then sprinkle on your glitter again and then Again, how many other times you want to do it, I do it two to three. So after the third coat, let's say, you're just going to want to go back with Mod Podge and let that dry and no more glitter. But that is basically it. So here's where the paper comes in handy. Now you can just pour it right back into your container and you're not wasting anything. But it's so simple and so easy to do, so I'll show you a few more. Again, you want to do it on the back. So I'm just taking the Mod Podge, putting some on my brush and just brushing on the Mod Podge. Again, it's just like glue, so wherever you want it, it's going to go. So be careful with your sides and the bottom and stuff. Because it's easier to not put it on now than go back later and try to fix it. So again, I don't like it on the edge here, so I'm just going to clean it off with my finger. And keep it nice and clean. So then I'll do green for the next one. So again, just sprinkle it over your paper. And you're not going to waste anything because you're catching it all. And then give it a tap. Get the excess off. So here's the back. So you might see, I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, you will see through this. So you will see the lines from the Mod Podge. That's why I say two to three layers. So I'm not sure if it shows through, but you can see it. But after you do a few layers, it looks a lot better. So again, just let it sit and you can go on to the next color. I'll just put this back in my container. So 
was a lot of fun. My kids had a lot of fun helping me do this for Halloween. So I'm doing this Christ a few Christmas ones. And the possibilities are endless. This is so much fun. So I'm going to finish these up with the several different colors I have. And I will let the ones that I already did dry. And then I'll show you how to put um, the next coat on. It's really easy. It's just uh, repetitive. But it is a lot of fun. So I'm going to finish these up. I'll let them all dry. And then I'll come back in a couple minutes. All right, so I'm finished with my first coat on each one of these, and I let them dry for a little bit. Um, so the next part to do is to take your Mod Podge again and go on even lighter this time, because you don't want to pull up your glitter that you have on here, but just lightly go over your glitter. And this is the important part where you want to have it dry before you go over with another layer. But just lightly go over it. And this is the time if you miss any spots that you can go over that spot this time. So you, you, there's really no way to make mistakes on these. But I'm just going over really lightly. And then, like I said, depending on how many coats you want to put on here, I do two to three. Um, depending on how dark it is in the front. The last part you want to do is just this, is just go over it one more time with your Mod Podge. So take the same color you have. I have this um, just white color on this one, so I'm going to take my white. Sorry, I'm out of frame. Get my stuff over. There we go. And then just the same thing. Just pour your glitter over it. Like I said, it's just more repetitive, repetition, but there you go. It's the same thing. But... I don't know, that's kind of nice with two coats, but I'm going to let it dry and I'll see what it looks like. But that's basically what you do is just, just go over a couple of times, just do the same thing, put your glitter back so you're not wasting anything. And then just go with the next one. Whoops, and I did, oh dang it, I did make a mistake right when I was pushing that paper. I made a mistake here, so I will show you, let me make sure it's dry, that you can easily just go over that spot. So there's really no way to make a mistake with these. So I'm just going to take my same brush I just was using and just lightly go over this with the Mod Podge. And you are going to pull some glitter up, but don't worry about it. There might be some on your brush like it is here, but I'm okay with that. I'm just going to keep putting this over. And I'm just filling in the spot where I just pulled it up on accident. And I'm just filling in all the spots, making sure I have the Mod Podge on it everywhere and what I didn't say before too is you want to have nice thin lines you don't want a bunch on one spot you want to have nice thin even lines so this one is the red one so I'm just gonna go over with the red and just same thing just give it a little tap and I'd filled in the gap pretty well it looks white here because the Mod Podge is still wet so when I go over it again with another coat you won't even see that so I'm just gonna let this one dry as well and then just put this away but again just the same thing going over it as many times as you want but you want to make sure that they're dry in between you do not want to make the mistake of not letting them dry because you will just pull your glitter right up so I'm just gonna finish these and I will show you the next step again. I'm sorry, guys. It's just kind of step-by-step -step repetition. But I'm going to put, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put one more coat on this on each one of them. And then if they need another one, I'll put another coat on. But if they're all done the way I like them, I'll show you. And then I'll show you the last step to it. So basically, there's three steps to this. So um, stay with me. I'm, I promise this is going to be a lot of fun when you're done with this. And then after I'm done with this, I will show you how to put the vinyl on. Alright guys, so I finished these and they are completely dry to the touch. Um, they turned out absolutely amazing. I put two to three coats on each one of these. So the next part you have to do, you have to remember to do this part. So after you do your two to three coats, you're still going to have to use one more layer of Mod Podge. So I have an extremely large foam brush. Unfortunately, my kids have learned where I keep my stuff. So they like to use my stuff so one last thing you want to do is take another once it's completely dry I mean it has to be completely dry to do this last part you just want to do one last layer of Mod Podge just like you're doing it with putting more glitter on but this is going to seal your glitter which means it will not come up to the touch or anything so just a really nice thin layer everywhere and this will dry clear just like it did in the front but please remember to do this part after you are all done. So it's going to leave this white layer on it again, but you will not see it in the front. So please remember to do this. This is the last part to it. Again, excuse my really large 
brush here. <laughs> you do not need to use one this big, but it's what I have. Um, so hide your stuff from your kids. <laughs> My girls, I love it that they love crafting and everything. They love doing crafts with me, but... When they use my stuff, they never like, like the stuff in the fridge, right? They never tell you when you're empty on something. <laughs> so that's what they did. So I'm going to have to go out and order some more. So basically that is it. So the front is done and the back is just going to dry. So I'm just going to continue to do that on each one of these. Again, it's just going to seal in. So it's all completely done to the touch. So it's just going to seal in all of your glitter that you have on here. You do not want to give this away or sell it and then have people say, oh, the glitter's coming off on it. So this will definitely seal your glitter in. So I want to make sure you get it everywhere. And then one other thing that when it's dry, before you start putting your decals on, please wash this really carefully with um, alcohol and like a wipe or um, a paper towel or something. So get this clean and nice and dry before you do the next step. But I'm gonna finish these up really quick and then I'll show you the next step of putting on the uh, vinyl decals. But please, whoops, don't make, make sure that you do not forget this part. This is really important for your glitter to stick on it. So I'm gonna finish this up, I'll let them dry and then I'll show you the next step. All right guys, so I have everything set up. I have all of my files cut out and weeded over here. Um, they turn out absolutely amazing. I don't know if you can see this behind here, but this is the Cricut Light. Um, it is amazing. It helps me so much when I'm weeding my stuff and you can't see anything behind it. I would highly suggest getting one. I can't plug it in right now because I don't have a power cord to it, but otherwise I would show you. But it's a, it's just a light and it works absolutely amazing. And you can see all the little pieces behind it so you're not ruining any of your files. And then here are the pieces that are finished or the night lights that are finished. I let them completely dry so you can tell there's no, you cannot see any white lines or any Mod Podge behind it. They absolutely turned out great. I put two to three coats on them depending on what they look like. So I can't really tell, but um, again, I would suggest doing two to three coats of whatever color you are doing. So the next step is basically just to figure out what vinyl decals you want on your um, night lights. So this is the fun part. I also have these things that I bought from um, the dollar store. They're wide angle smartphone lenses, which I know they don't actually work, but they do come in really cute and handy for when you're doing this. So I just took them apart very easily. Just twist this part off and you could save this part for like any of the, any of the, anything else. Like if you have like chip bag or something, you can use it for that. So it doesn't go to waste, but I thought these were really cute. I have seen people use these on ornaments, but I can't put them on the round ones. I'll do them on the flat ones maybe. So stay tuned. I'm going to do more ornament videos, but um, I, I thought that this would be kind of cute to show you. So the next step is basically just taking some transfer tape. I just cut out a few pieces. Again, dollar store transfer tape. I don't use the really expensive stuff that I buy um, unless it's for... Unless it needs more stick to it, I guess. So dollar store transfer tape works just as well. But just in case, a lot of people ask me where I buy my transfer tape, I'll leave that down in the link below. I buy it from Amazon and I love it. But when it comes to little things like this that I'm just going to be throwing it out after one use, I'm not going to spend a bunch of money. So I'll spend a dollar on this. So I'm just going to take the transfer tape, peel off the back, and then choose which one. So I have these ones here where it says, Dear Santa, define good or... Yeah, did you understand to define good? So this is two pieces. So when you have multiple colors, you need to figure out which which piece you want to go on first. And because the little Santa hat is here and it's got to go in this piece, I'm going to do the red piece first. So basically, I'm just going to put this transfer tape over the top of it, and then I'm going to scrape it with my scraper. Scrape it with the scraper, but as again, I cannot find my scrapers anywhere. My kids have been helping me a lot lately with some of my videos and my stuff that I've been creating. So. I can't find my scraper. I think this is the second video I said that now. So now I really got to go out and buy some more. So if you have a scraper, use a scraper. If you don't, you can just use like an old card. I'm just using an expired library card. Basically, you just want to scrape it on so that it sticks to the transfer tape. So anything that's hard, you can use. So I'm just going to use that for now. I'll have to order some more. You know, guys, I keep saying it and I never do. So once I'm finished with this video, I'm going to go sit down and order, like honestly, like 50 scrapers from Amazon because <laughs> I just keep misplacing them. So next part is, is putting these together. So basically I'm just lining up the little red hat with the top part. And it'd be easier if I was on the table, but I'm trying to show you guys. Perfect. 
Perfect. So once you get it where you want it, again, just you can put it down and then scrape it so everything stays on the transfer tape. And again, I already resized these for my little night lights, so it'll fit on there perfectly. But because I'm not scraping this very well, it's not coming off very easy. Easy, so please stick with me, guys. I'm sorry about this. I'm gonna have to go buy a bunch more because I had a whole bunch of them. I just can't find them. But every time I take my transfer tape off or I peel my backing off, I always flip it upside down so I can kind of see the back of it. So that's what I did. So let's see. I don't know if red would be good with red, so we'll try this. You guys can see it, I hope. This uh, silver color. So I'm basically just gonna find the middle. Again, it would be easier if I had it on the table. And put it on. And press down really hard. Again, use your scraper if you have one. You want to make sure this sticks really well. And the glitter will not come off of the back because you added that extra layer of Mod Podge on there. So do not worry about any glitter coming off of the back. So here we go. Oh my gosh, I love it. It is so cute. Can you guys see that? I hope you can see that. So I did not do much with my transfer tape, so I'm just going to use it for the next one. But look at how cute that is and how simple that was to make. I mean, I think the longest time of this whole thing was waiting for the Mod Podge to dry to put another layer of glitter on. So I mean, I think that was the longest part on here. So that one is finished. And then I'm just going to do another one. I thought that... This elf cam one was really cute, but I'm going to be honest with you, this was horrible with weeding. Um, these little tiny pieces did not want to come off for me, so I only got this one. I did not get the Santa watch one or the Santa cam one done. I tried three times to cut it out and to weed it. I could not get it for the life of me, so... Um, unfortunately, I just have this one. So for this one, it's also another layering one, I think. Yeah, I think it was this hat that goes behind it, actually. So I'm going to actually peel this green part up, put the hat behind it. And then I can just put it right back onto my piece of paper. And then one other thing was just a little yellow dot. So again, I'm just going to take my little weeder piece here. And it does not want to come up. Here we go, take my little weeder piece, if you guys can see that, and then just put it on the tip of the tail of the hat. So there. So again, next piece, just lay your transfer tape down, scrape it really well so everything sticks. So I'm just gonna find the center again. to find the centerpiece while holding it is very difficult <laughs> but I hope you guys can see this just trying to get it centered for everywhere and I really like the border behind it the transfer tape is throwing me off that it doesn't look uh, centered to me but there so again just take your scraper and press on really well and then you can peel back your transfer tape. Yeah, that's much better. The transfer tape was really throwing me off because it was not even. Oh my gosh, guys, I love it. What do you guys think? Do you like this? I hope you can see it. I'm really trying to show you with the light here. I absolutely love this. I cannot wait to give it away as gifts. I'm going to be selling it at the local store up the street. I swear one of these days I'm going to go in there and show you uh, Becca's store. It is absolutely awesome. I love it. So... Here's the glitter side. Again, it's not going to come up because you put the Mod Podge on it, but that is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, guys, today I'm going to be honest. I am having problems with my camera. I don't know what's going on. I was showing you guys how to put, to attach these lenses to it, and then I don't know. It just wasn't recording or the light wasn't right. I don't even know. Something happened to the camera. So I'm going to scratch the last one, and I'm just going to show you how to do this one, this e.l.f. cam one. So I'm going to take the lens, and I'm going to put it right here on this. So I'm going to take a little dollop of hot glue and just put it in the center. I'm just gonna just do a little bit. And then I'm also gonna take some Gorilla Glue here I have. It's just super glue and just put that in the middle as well. I know people use um, 
I think it's called E6300 glue, but I don't have any of that. So I'm going to just do this. So I'm just going to take it and just put it right in the center. And just push it down and make it sure it's nice and snug there. Oh my gosh, guys, I love it already. I'm just going to hold it here for a couple seconds to make sure it stays. But this turned out amazing. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Just got this little extra hairs from the glue gun. But look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? If I was a kid, I would think that would actually be a Santa cam or an elf cam looking at me, making sure I'm being good. So there we go. So there is the first one that is all done. I'm going to let that sit and dry. And then I'm just going to continue to keep working on the next ones. So I have this one here too, Dear Santa, Define Good. And I think I'm going to put... Um, Actually, I think I'm going to put a Santa face on this one. So I have these guys. I tried printing out the other ones, but they were so hard to weed, I couldn't do it. So I'm just going to take one of these. It has glitter all over it, which is okay. And scrape it on here. And the fun part with these is you guys can do it any way you want. I mean, it doesn't have to be a Santa face here. You can do whatever you want. Um, you could put the Santa cam here if you wanted. Uh, you could put, you know, presents here if you wanted, or like a naughty or nice, you know, whatever you want. But I just thought that would look really, really cute. So how does that look? Do you guys like them so far? Give me a thumbs up. Tell me, do you like these? Are they turning out really cool? Um, are you going to try your own? What are yours going to say? I would love to know. I would love to see your guys' crafts. I would love to know if I'm helping you guys with stuff. Um, I love it when people comment on my videos. I'm going to shout out to Candace. Thank you, Candace, so much. I really appreciate you. She's always commenting on my YouTube channel, on, on my craft one, on our Homestead How one. I thank you so much. I know you're watching. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, so thanks. So anybody else, please give me a shout out. Tell me, do you guys like my stuff that I'm doing? Am I doing a good job? Let me know. Let me know. Have you tried any of my crafts before? Are you new to my channel? If you are, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you follow me and learn with me. Um, so I have just the rest of these. I'm going to finish them up really quick. I have the rest over here um, of my files. It's pretty much the same thing. Dear Santa Define Good. Another Santa Watch one. Um, I'm going to put the hat at the bottom here. Um, I have another Elf Cam one over here. Um, but like I said, the possibilities are endless. They are so much fun. If I was a kid, I think I would love to see these. I mean, I love how this turned out. I think it's really cute. Um, I think anybody would like to get these. Unfortunately, my kids are too old to believe in Santa. So this won't work on them, but have fun with it. So I'm going to finish these up. I'll show you guys what they look like when they're all done. But give me a thumbs up if you're liking it so far and stay tuned to the end to see what they all look like. I hope you all enjoyed this how-to tutorial and will go out and create your own Christmas night lights. They were so much fun to create and I cannot wait to give them away as presents or even sell a few at a local craft store here in my town. I created some of these night lights for Halloween and they were a huge hit, so I'm hoping it's going to be the same with these Christmas ones. Have fun creating and happy crafting everyone. Please leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from my fellow crafters. Happy crafting everyone!